Good morning everyone. It's Monday morning and I am starting off the morning by just sitting on the couch with a cup of tea and a book. So I'll bring you through so you can have a little nosy at that. But Stephen is going to uni today. Um, he has to go from 11 till 5 so he's out most of the day so I'm basically just saying to myself today. Um, I'm going to go down to like the local shopping area and have a little look for a few things. I want to do a Poundland shop so I can do a little haul for that with some practical things that we need and also I want to look to get some stuff for my baby be me so I'm gonna look in George Asda and Primark because I'm going over in a week's time and I want to take her like a few little things so I'll see if there's anything um, at the shopping centre but if not I can order some things online from Marks and Spencer anyway I'll bring the camera through um Stephen's flatmate's still sleeping so that's why I don't want to like vlog through there because the living room door's open but I'll show you my cup of tea and I'm just having a little bit of a read um so I'll show you some of that and then I guess I'll get the day started at some point Hello everyone, so a quick update, it's 20 past 1, um, as you can see I'm currently doing my makeup, I've got my hair and my towel, I'm actually probably going to take that out soon, um, and yeah I'm getting ready, I'm going to head to the shops, um, I'm going to get some stuff at Asda, also some stuff at Poundland, I feel like I said this earlier, and look for something for my niece, although I did just buy some really cute things online, let's see if I can get them up and show you because Obviously Marks and Spencer sell a lot of good stuff, especially the children's wear. The children's wear is lovely. So I placed a couple of orders. I placed one order and then I found something else that I just had to buy. Um, so I'll show you them both. So I'm really excited about that. And I also placed an order on everything5pounds.com. Um, which actually when that comes later on in the week I'll show you it because um, I love that website like to be honest I'm a little bit addicted to that website <laughs> I spend probably a little bit well I say I spend too much money on it but because everything's so cheap I hardly spend any money on it and I do send back the stuff that isn't right um, so like I placed an order a couple of weeks ago and it came and everything was wrong so I just sent it back right away um, but I do love it I think you get really good value and you just have to be quite picky with what you go for like don't go for anything risky just go for things that you know will look good on you anyway my story is that I got this really cute outfit on everything5pounds.com and it's a little like Christmas dress it's got like Christmas puddings on it and other wee things and it's got little white tights um, and it's absolutely gorgeous so i bought it in the size that hannah will be um like this christmas next year this year oh my god yeah um so that means that i can take that over or, and give that to her at some stage as well but anyway i'll show you the marks and spencer stuff this is the set in the sale how gorgeous is that it's like a little pinafore with a little flower on it and a little white shirt under it and then some little um black tights with the orange toes i think that's adorable then i also got her a very special top and I'll show you it because I can search this very easily. Of course I had to get her this. See if it'll focus. Come on. There we go. My auntie loves me. I'm sorry, but how cute is that? I had to do it. It was only a fiver. Um, so yeah, that's what I bought her from Marks and Spencer. But I'm going to see if there's anything at Primark and also George Asda. And that's pretty much it. I'll probably spend about an hour at the shops and then I'm going to head back here and hopefully film a Poundlands haul video. But I can't edit it because I don't have my MacBook with me. But I'll edit it when I go home tomorrow. Um, and then I'm also going to make some lunch. I'm actually starting to get hungry. Um, I'm going to have lunch probably about three by the time that I am back. So I'm going to crack on, finish this face and I will update you in a bit. I'm ready and I've just popped my hair in like a little ponytail. You'll be able to see it in the mirror there. Um... I don't know how I feel about it, but the thing is, it's raining outside, so I just wanted to like just have it um, like that, and then I can put my hood up. So it always looks a bit funny at the front, I think, because I don't know if I suit this whole um, pulled back look, if you get me. But that's all right. We're rolling with it. I'm gonna go to the shop like this. Um, I'm just gonna put my coat on and put my scarf on because I have it somewhere. It's in a bag somewhere and this is my grey coat that I'm going to wear um, and I'm going to head on out and get to the shops.
All right, I am back from Asda and I will take this camera into the kitchen and show you what I bought. Um, but I'm currently just loading Youth on Netflix because I'm gonna watch this. Um, although I think I'm gonna film a Poundland haul first because my bag's over there and it's pretty much good to go. Um, but yeah, I'm on episode five now, so I'm getting through it. It is really addictive, I'm really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, let's go and have a look at what I bought. One thing is here and I've finished it and it's these Ella's Kitchen Tomato and Basil Melty Sticks. Um, I eat quite a lot of this stuff for kids. I don't know if that's weird, but I've always sort of done that because I just think it tastes quite good. Um, these were a pound and I wanted a snack for the way home. So I got the McCain um, freezer, frozen, that's the word, jacket potatoes again. I like these and I just got forward to having the house. Um, I got a couple of pots as well to have with them with salads. So this is the Princess Tuna Fillers with Tuna Tomato Mixed Peppers. I've not had that one, but I thought that sounded quite nice. I've had this one before, which is the Tuna Mayo and Sweet Corn, and it's lovely. So they were a pound each. Um, and then I got some snack jacks to have at night with a cup of tea. I thought I could have one chocolate and one caramel, because at night I do get that I want sweet stuff. So I thought that was a good idea. And they were a pound each on offer. I got some beans. Um, if I have my baked potato with those sort of tuna filler things, Stephen can have his with beans. I got some salad leaves, that was reduced to like 40 pence because it's dated today, but I'm using it today, so that's perfect. Then I got a couple of things for dinner. I got these um, breast mini fillets, although I don't know if the mini ones were the best ones to get, but never mind, I bought them now. Um, and that's to have with this katsu curry. Um, it comes with the breadcrumbs and the curry sauce and the chilli paste, so we're going to have that tonight for dinner. Then for dinner tomorrow night, I got these egg noodles, which were on a whoopsie because uh, they're dated today, but they'll be fine for tomorrow. And I'm gonna have them with this green Thai chicken stir fry kit, which looks amazing. Peppers, onions, spring onion, baby corn, and then that's the green Thai curry stuff and the chicken. So I thought we could just cook that up in the pan, do these in uh, the microwave, and then pop it all together as a stir fry. So that's tomorrow night's dinner. The final thing I got was some sparkling lemon and lime, because this is only like 40 pence or something, and I love this stuff for with dinner. I'm gonna stick all that away, and then I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea, and I'm probably gonna quickly film that Poundland haul video just to get it done. Um, so that it's blasty because a lot of the stuff I'm leaving here because it's things that I bought to like have at Stevens. And then I'll watch some of that you. Um, I'm really excited to watch that. But yeah, as for now, I think I'll just make a little cuppa. Oh, and here's Miss. You alright, boy? He's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go and make some tea. Okay, so my lunch is finally ready. It's like half past four and we're literally going to be having dinner in like two hours. But by the time I got back, put the oven on, had it in for 50 minutes in the oven, um, it took a while. But yeah, that's one of the um, McCain's jacket potatoes. I've got that tuna, sweet corn and mayo thing on it. And then I've got a bed of salad. I'm just going to eat this and I'm going to watch you. And that's pretty much going to be my afternoon until Stephen returns. Hello everyone. <sighs> Tonight's been a bit of a disaster. Can you tell by my makeup? I bought, you know the thing that I bought Steve and I earlier? Well, I tried to make it and it didn't go so well and I just get so disappointed and so disheartened because I'm trying so well to like do this healthy eating thing and it's just not working out because I can't cook. Like everything I cook here was wrong. I tried to make us this rice dish once and it went wrong and tonight I tried to like cook chicken and I don't know like I couldn't even cook the chicken like all the chicken on Stephen's plate seemed to be white but the chicken on my plate had like red bits in it and I don't know if it was because it was grizzly chicken like it wasn't red throughout it was just like speckled bits in some of the chicken but it's just a disaster I just I've never been good at cooking and it's so disheartening as I say when it's something that you want to do well when I'm trying and every single time it's a bloody failure. Anyway, I got upset as you can tell there were some tears, I'm not going to lie because the other thing is like it's a waste of money. It's £3.50 and £3.50 is £3.50 but when you actually add that up in the grand scheme of things and like you know that was budgeted into like my food money for the month and I just feel crappy about it. like. Steven made us dinner last night and I wanted to make him something nice tonight and I couldn't even do that. I know it sounds dramatic. I know it does, but... Like, cooking was something I wanted to do better this year and it's just been a disaster. 
I feel like I need to stick to things that you can just put in the oven because <sighs> I can't cook things in the pan. <laughs> oh, I could cry. That was such a disaster. Anyway, Stephen's gone to the shop. He's gone to Asda to get his pizzas, like to try and cheer me up a bit and just so we can eat something. <sighs> Tomorrow night I've got chicken as well because I was going to do that chicken katsu curry thing but I was like, asked Stephen like if he can help me and if we can cook it together because I can't cook chicken. I have a, a thing about chicken as well because I got sick from pink chicken and I was really really ill with it and that's why I'm so like particular about it and uh, it can't be that difficult to cook some chicken. Anyway I felt I wanted to be real with you all about that so yeah total disaster for that point of view and <sighs> anyway I'm just gonna take my makeup off now because it's smudged all over my face but yeah he's gonna get us some pizzas to just get through the night I guess and I just I didn't even want to go like he was like let's go to Asda but you know that way you just feel so fed up when you've tried something that's gone so miserably wrong anyway you're probably sick hearing about this so I'm gonna go um I've put on you while I'm waiting on him coming back with a pizza so I'm getting my favourite, which is the veggie one. Um, so Stephen's a wee sweetheart. He's just taking the car out to go and get us some pizzas because I was in quite a state <laughs> over a dinner, a chicken dinner. Man, it's embarrassing. Please tell me about a time in the comments where you've got something badly wrong or failed miserably at something. Because I just, <laughs> it just brings everything out, doesn't it? Like it makes me feel tonight like I'm failing at life because I failed at a dinner. Like, how ridiculous is that? But, I don't know when it's something you put, like, effort into and you want it to be nice and you want to make a nice meal and then you feel at it, you, your mind sort of just does this thing where it's like you can't do anything. I know that sounds crazy. But, that's how it's made me feel tonight. And, I don't know. I think I just need to watch the television um, and just try and take my mind off it. I'm going to watch you till Stephen's back and then... We're going to watch Outlander tonight. We have an episode to catch up on because they're getting released once a week at the moment. So I think I'll just leave this here for tonight. There's nothing really else to say. I'll just uh, speak to you tomorrow when I'm in a better mood, I guess. Good morning, everyone. It's just morning. It's literally like quarter to 12. Um, Stephen went to uni um, about half an hour ago and I have been sitting and playing The Sims. Um, he bought The Sims last night or the night before. And we've been a little bit addicted. So I've been playing this morning. I've been redoing my house, getting it looking nice. So it's looking good. I'll show you it. Um, and I'm just going to play a bit of the game now before I turn it off and get in the shower. So she's currently sleeping, but this is the house. I did these big like open plan windows and a bathroom. A bathroom? A uh, bath in the corner. I thought that was nice. Um, and yeah, there's plenty more to the house, but this is sort of an idea of what's going on. Oh, she's going to the toilet, lovely. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to continue playing this and then I'll get in the shower. So this is the little thing that I got in Poundland and it works really well for putting in the cupboard with my stuff at Stephen's. So I've got my little, what do you call that? I have no idea what you call that. Anyway, it washes your body. Um, my razor, my face wash and my uh, shower gel. And basically they live in this little cupboard here. And I've got a little lush massage bar at the back there. And that just sits in there like that, so it's perfect. So it's half past four and I'm in Stephen's shirt. What do you think about that, Stephen? Mm, <laughs> Suits you better than me. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Uh, Stephen's playing The Sims. I'm about to read my book. And then we're going to make dinner about 20 past five. And then Stephen's going to coaching and I am going home. Sadly, back to work tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's just been a sort of nice chilled afternoon. Um, I'm sort of looking at my to-do list and working out what I'm going to do tonight when I get in. I need to edit the Poundland haul, which should be up, so I'll leave that um, a link to that down below because it will be up when this video is up. And I need to wash my work clothes, and that's pretty much it. And the other thing I want to do a lot more of today, which I'm about to do right now, is read because I've been slacking and I need to get through this book because I have 25 to get through this year. So yeah, I'm gonna sit and read my book until we have dinner. Hopefully dinner tonight is a little bit more successful. I did vlog last night about my dinner, by the way, when you were out. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, I was quite upset at that clip. But anyway, I'm over it, it's fine, I'm over it. And uh, I'm just not gonna cook chicken ever again. <laughs> oh, true. But we're cooking chicken tonight, but Stephen's gonna help me, so we'll make sure it's cooked. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go. I've got my cup of tea and my cat Santa mug. Hello everyone, I am back at the house. I'm just putting a wash on, so I need to run upstairs to get one top that I haven't put in the wash. Um, I'm washing my work clothes for tomorrow. And I've got my cute hoodie on again. Do you guys remember this? I bought this in Monkey like a year ago, but I love it. It's really comfy and relaxed and I love the color. So I'm putting a wash on. Um, on the way home, I went to Morrison's and I got stuff for work, like lunch stuff. So I can find this top. Okay, I'm gonna go till I can find the stop and then I'll be back when I'm downstairs. Okay, so I went to Morrison's on the way home. Do not be deceived by the bag. I just have these bags in my cupboard. Um, so that, in my cupboard? No, in my car. So that I can use bags because I'm not to buy as many. So, I'm gonna share with you what I've got. I've got all this stuff in the bunker here so this might prove difficult. But the first thing I got was salad leaves. This was the only like bag of salad leaves that were left, but it's a mixed leaf bag, so that's fine. I'm gonna chuck that in for my salad for work. Then to go in that salad, I've got cucumber, sweet pointed peppers, There's something else in here, I feel. Hmm. I think that's everything for the salad. I must have got ham though, yeah. I got ham, that's gonna go in the salad as well. And then I've got sweet corn in the cupboard and that'll be my salad and then I'll put an egg in it as well. Then to have alongside the salad, I got the Baby Bell Lights so I can have two of these a day because there's six of them and this is to cover three days. Then I got some snack jacks These are offer for a pound. They're really good for losing weight because you can have them at night with a cup of tea and they're not terrible. Um, so I'll have one of these at night with a cup of tea to keep my sweet craving satisfied. And then I got some speedy nail polish remover. I just needed some of this, it was a pound. Um, I got some blueberries for two pounds. These are to go in my bran flakes in the morning, which hopefully I've got enough of that left. I got some tuna and I always get it in the spring water and these are the smaller cans, which are perfect for my baked potatoes. And finally, I got some yogurts, just to have a taste, I feel like something sweet. And these are one of the better yogurts that you can buy. Um, so it's the Danone Light and Free and they are 60 calories. Um, they've got seven grams of sugar, so they're not terrible. I mean, that's not brilliant either, but it's better than a lot of the yogurts and it's the strawberry flavor. So yeah, they're just a snack on if I feel I need something and I'll put some blueberries in them. So <laughs> that's everything. It's a total mess down here because there's just no room in this bunker. So I'm gonna tidy this all up and make my salad for work basically. And that's actually all I have to do tonight. Also paint my nails, watch some more of you because I'm totally hooked and I need to see what's gonna happen next and then have a cup of tea with my snack jacks. And that's pretty much it, an unpack from Stevens as well. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go, I'll show you my lunch once it's made. You saw it last week, but I'll show you a quick uh, clip of it again. Prepped three salads. This is the one that's open at the moment, but I have another two for the next uh, three days. And basically I've got ham, I've got a mix of lettuce leaves, I've got sweet peppers, uh, cucumber, sweet corn, uh, that's an egg on the top, one boiled egg, and then uh, two of these light baby bells. I haven't put them into these two yet, but they'll go in um, on the day or I'll just take them like this. But yeah, that is lunch for the next three days, which is perfect. And I'm glad that I've just portioned it out and actually put it in Tupperware because that means I don't have to faff about at night. That's me prepared lunch for the next three days and I can just grab it in the morning to go to work. So it's very, very easy. Um, and yeah, I love this salad. Like I always look forward to it. Um, it's not like a chore eating this because I love it so much. So yeah, that's lunch. Look at this sleepy ghetto. You mum sleepy ghetto? There were some requests to have more of you, Lottie. So you're gonna be in the vlog more this week? Mm -hmm. Is that the plan? We're gonna film more of you. She was really affectionate when I came home actually. She was being so cute. She was like rubbing herself against my hand, weren't you? We sweetheart, I think she's tired now. Also, don't mind my socks, they're trying for tomorrow. Turn this big light off because I don't need it anymore. Um, and that's me, I'm basically done for the night. It is currently half past nine, so I'm gonna pop these in the fridge and then I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna sit and watch you and just get myself psyched up for work tomorrow. And that's really it. I might read my book as well, I want to read more of that. I'll probably catch up with you later on in the week. I don't know when it'll be, but the next clip will be later on. Good night. Hello, so please excuse the mess of my room because I'm currently tidying and trying on clothes. It's 
when is it thursday <laughs> yeah thursday night i'm trying on a few things that i got from asos this is the first thing so i'll flip this around and i'll show you it i think this is a new look number um and it's basically just this greeny baggy top which you can tuck in here which is perfect and then it's like longer at the back which i love um it's just really relaxed and floaty and it has sleeves and just everything i want in like a comfortable top i don't like tight tops because I have a tum tum. <laughs> so uh, this is perfect and I think I'm going to take this to Poland. So this was the first thing. I also got this red top but I went to try it on and I couldn't get it over my boobs which is bizarre because I don't have like large boobs. Like I've, oh, I've always been quite a small boobed person. Maybe TMI chat, I'm not really sure. Um, But this is a size 12 so for the type of person, like the size of boobs for a size 12 person would be probably my size if not bigger but for some reason I can't even get this over the boobs like because it has like this tight peplum part it was getting stuck here and it doesn't have a side zip or anything it's a shame because I think it's quite cute I think I got it in sale and it could look nice with just like black jeans um, but I'm not going to attempt it because I think I'm just going to rip it. The final thing is a shirt and I already have this in a blue colour. You might have seen me wear this in videos before. Peplum as well because I love peplum. It's very flattering. So I have this in the, the light blue but I've bought it in the white. This is a 10 though and I'm not sure because I feel like the last one was a 10 but obviously I'm a little bit bigger now. But I'll try this on and see how we get on. The final thing is the best thing. I'm so excited. I'm going to grab them and I'll show you them. I got some shoes. They are by the brand Levi. Levi's. I don't know what the brand is. Um, I didn't get them because they were branded. It was just exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something plain that was just like a sort of plimsoll. I love the style of Supergas and this is basically this style. And these are absolutely beautiful and I've tried them on and I love them so much. So I'm going to take these to Poland as well. Um, I need to lace them up because... I like half laced up one of them but it's wrong and it was just to get an idea of how they looked. Let's see if I can slip it on and I'll show you it on. Um, bear in mind I won't be wearing these socks with these jeans but uh, this gives you sort of an idea as to how they look and I just think they're perfect. I just, is that even focusing? Focus on this camera is a nightmare sometimes but I think it's focusing now. But yeah they're just exactly what I wanted, just something that literally goes with everything. Um, really easy to wear and won't get too dirty because they're black and I can clean the bottom part and um, so they're just like a sort of canvas style pair of sneaks I guess but I'm loving them absolutely loving them I can't remember how much they were in the sale but I feel like they were in the sale as well maybe for like 35 pounds like I knew they weren't going to be cheap cheap but I know I'm going to get like a lot of wear out of them and I love that it has the little red Levi's thing here because I think that's a really pretty sort of like addition to it. I don't know what's up with my camera. Oh my god. It's making me really angry. Oh. Oh, I'm doing my periods and I'm sorry but it's true. You just get a lot angrier at life. At least I do. I don't know. Everyone gets different things but I get a lot angrier. Like even the thought of having my dinner. I'm angry about thinking about having my dinner. How ridiculous is that? Anyway I think I'm going to get my period when I'm away which is really annoying because I'm on holiday. Gonna have to get over it. Right, I'm gonna stop being such a weirdo and get out with these clothes and put on my pajamas. But I wanted to share with you things that I bought. Oh, actually, I'm gonna try this shirt on and I'll show it on as well. All right, I've got it on, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit snug. Like, it's even just on the arms, it's a bit tight, but that's fine. I'm glad I didn't get the 12 because I want to like actually use these things. When I lose the weight and also ignore the fact I've got a black brown. But flip this around as well. It's a really, really cute shirt. I loved the light blue one and I love this one just as much. There's enough room here but unfortunately it's the sleeves that are a little bit tight. But actually that the weight on my arms tends to go quite quickly. So I think even half a stone would make this perfect. Um, but I'm not going to wear it just now. I'll wait until I lose a bit. But I love this shirt as well at the back because it comes down a little bit over your bottom. It's just very flattering. So... This is another good one and I'm definitely keeping this um, and I'm going to fish out the blue one see if I still fit it because I could take that to Poland but I'm not sure because I feel like the blue is a 10 as well. 
yeah the sleeves on this one are definitely a bit looser like they're comfortable so i'm gonna wear this um tomorrow night because steven and i have a gig on tomorrow night it's at the old fruit market in glasgow and it's celtic connections 2019 proudly presents tidy a toast to 10 years of tidy music festival so yeah i'm pretty excited although steven's not been very well he wasn't feeling well yesterday and today he's not been well again he's not like actually able to eat anything and to be honest i don't want to go if he's feeling like that so I've just said that to him because, like, we're not going to go and attempt to have a good time if he's feeling absolutely rotten and hasn't even kept any food down. Anyway, I'll take this for tomorrow night in case we go. If we don't go, we'll just have a quiet night in the flat. Or maybe I'll not go through. I don't know. Um, I don't want to go through if he's, like, not feeling that well and just wants to be, like, on his own, that sort of thing. So, we'll see. I'll play it by ear. But I'll get this ironed anyway because it is crisp. I love this little shirt. So, basically, it's the same as the white, but it is a blue and I think if I go through tomorrow I'll wear my new trainers as well because well they're just fabulous. I'm gonna tidy this place up it's a riot I'm gonna get out of my clothes and get in my pajamas and I'll catch up with you later on. It's a couple hours later I've just spent the past hour and a half editing the vlog which is here I just need to add this clip on. Um, it's been a bit of a rough night remember those lovely shoes that I showed you just in the previous clip well it turns out they make a noise when I wear them. I put them on and thought I'll just like wear them around the house a little bit um, just to get a feel for them and thank goodness I did because had I put them on just before I was leaving for like the airport actually no more to the point had I had taken them tomorrow night and had nothing else to wear uh, at the gig with Stephen that would be a disaster so anyway when I put them on like one foot like squeaks and I think like the material's been put on wrongly on like the shoe like there's like a bump and it doesn't feel right the frustrating thing is they're out of stock on ASOS and I can't find them anywhere else and I love them. I love them so much and I can't get my hands on them. How frustrating is that? And it tends to be with ASOS that once things are out of stock like that's them, like they don't tend to come back in. I'm really sad they were perfect. Really perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna have to get over that. I feel like I've had to get over it a lot this week in the vlog. <laughs> you know that way when you just have your heart set on something. I definitely had my heart set. They were mine. They were fabulous. I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm going through to the gig tomorrow night. I was gonna try and film some of it, but oh, it's just like the thought of then having to like edit the vlog at Stevens, take my MacBook, take all the equipment. It's just easier if I don't. So I'll end the vlog here. There's a lot anyway. There's already 26 minutes plus this little clip. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I feel like I've really enjoyed editing this week's and there's a bit more to it than last week. It's a bit more exciting. Um, and I am going to Poland in two days time. Not tomorrow, but the next day. And I'm going to meet my niece. So the next weekly vlog will start when I'm in Poland. Um, so look out for that in a week's time. And yeah, have a great week. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care. Bye.